this video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply the loop blitzing concept that we learned in the nickel 3-3 formation to other formations as well. Now, the formation we're going to be taking a look at today is the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook, and we're going to be taking a look at the Dime 1-4 formation. Now, if you're watching this and you want to get my Dime 1-4-6 uh, defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description below. You can join the Patreon for just $10, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to come out in the Dime 146, and the play we're going to utilize for this is we're going to come out in the DB Sting 2 Buzz. Now, there's an interesting thing that happens when you come out in this specific play, um, and you're going to see it real quickly. You're going to notice that we're going to get this little walk-down animation from these two linebackers as well as this outside corner. From there, all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defensive line, we're going to crash our defensive line down, and then what we're going to do is we're going to contain. Now, you're going to notice that on the right side, you're going to see that we already have that loop contain blitzer kind of set where we want him. Um, on the left side, we're just going to slide this guy in a few steps until he is on the contain. From there, you can drop this linebacker in whatever coverage that you want him to be in. So we're going to drop this linebacker into a hook curl, and then we're just going to use her uh, with this defender right here. And what you're going to notice is we're going to get this looping concept off the edge um, at the quarterback. Now, this concept can uh, kind of manifest in a couple of ways. Um, the one thing about loop concepts this year, in my opinion, they are a little bit inconsistent uh, just in terms of what you're actually going to get every single time. Sometimes they will loop through the B-gap. Sometimes they will loop off of the edge. Sometimes they will just simply become edge pressure. Um, you know, it just kind of depends a little bit on how your opponent is going to pick up the blitz. So some of this is a little bit variable, but what you'll see here, as you can see, we get that loop concept through the B-gap and we're getting the edge pressure. Now, another thing that we can do with this dime formation um, is we can actually move this linebacker. So let's say I wanted to move this linebacker to the left here, and then let's say that I you know, put this guy in coverage, and then I use her this defender, right? Now you're going to see we basically get the same exact concept with this linebacker uh, when we move him out here and put him on a contain. And what you're going to notice is, again, you get this looping concept, whether it be through the B-gap or through the edge pressure. So um, the beauty of this is this is very effective. These contains, um, in my opinion, they're good. They're really most powerful when your opponent starts to try to block a running back, for example. So if they try to block a running back, you're going to see that this contain oftentimes is going to loop around the running back and we're going to be able to get some pretty decent pressure. So, again, the idea is you're just going to manually walk these guys um, in so that they are on the contain, and then from there, what I like to do is crash my line down, and that's pretty much it. And this blitz is going to create crazy little disengages, crazy looping uh, principles pretty much all uh, across the board. Now, another thing that you can do uh, with this play is run something like a cover to sink walk that guy down blitz him off the edge then you see again we're getting that loop coming through the b gap now the last thing that i didn't mention uh yet is the idea of essentially simplifying your pressure to the point where you're only sending like three or four so we're going to drop the guy on the right side into a vertical hook we're going to drop this guy into a middle third and then we're going to drop this defensive lineman on the right side or the linebacker into a flat so we essentially have a, a mabel concept uh to the left side and then you're going to see here that this is going to create that looping concept where the defensive end is going to get this crazy animation to the outside so again what we're doing is we're going to pinch our line crash our line uh down we're going to qb contain walk this guy in on a contain and then we can zone pretty much everybody on the right side of the screen uh we can put them in any coverage that we want so you see here we can really quickly just set them in a mabel concept and then you're going to get this little disengage. And as you can see, this guy's coming around the edge. Now, I will say that this disengage on the left side is going to be a little bit better. Um, you'll see right here, when I get the running back, when he's not on a table route like that, um, you know, this should be a little bit more consistent. Um, so you see here now he's on the table route. You see there's the disengage. And as you can see, this becomes one of the best 
uh, blitzes in the game because you're only sending like two or three people. Now, their solution to basically picking this up is they are going to block their running back, right? They should. Um, but because this guy on the outside is on a contain, sometimes you're going to get that, that guy through the B gap as you just saw right there. It's actually more consistent than you might think. So the ability for us to be able to get pressure through multiple avenues within this defense, I also think is something that makes this a really um, effective concept. So I would, I'm a big advocate right now for sliding these guys in off of the outside um, because I just think it's almost impossible to block this blitz. Like you're only sending five or six and they're going to have a really hard time blocking this blitz, whether it comes through the B gap, the A gap, the edge. I can't confidently tell you it's going to definitely come off the edge every single time because sometimes they will loop through the middle, um, like through the through the A-gap. But what I can tell you is if they are doing kind of standard pass protection, you're going to get this disengaged all day long and you're going to be getting more sacks. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my entire Dime 146 defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description below. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.